Hey guys, as you can probably tell from the title up above, I went to Woot.com and purchased a new webcam. This is the Blue Microphones Eyeball 2.0 microphone slash webcam HD blah 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 blah. This was about $100 when it released about a year ago, and I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on it, so I thought I would pick one up myself and try it out. Basically, if it works well for me, awesome. It gives me another, another possible option for making videos. If it does not work terribly well, it's a great way to communicate with friends and family. So I thought I'd unbox it for you on the camera and give you a quick first impressions of it and tell you how it works with my computer. So if we open the box up, you see we've got a little box inside of the box. As we pull that out, we've got some paperwork here on the underside, the eyeball quick start guide, and a manual, and that's about it. And then we've got the device itself. Really minimalist stuff here. So I took the plastic off the top, now we've got the microphone and camera itself. Let me pull that to the side for just a second. And the little backer. We'll get into what that is in just a minute too. So now we've got the camera and microphone itself. You see the most noticeable feature of it is the microphone. It's enormous. And that's really to give you the best possible quality sound out of the, the biggest possible microphone they have. Basically this is the bigger brother to the Snowflake microphone, which a lot of people do use and still use today. But it's just got this little camera on the side of it that's supposed to be at least halfway decent, hopefully. You see it pops in and pops out when I click on it. Now if I go ahead and just gently pull on this a little bit, it actually comes open. There's the uh, USB cable and everything here. This is actually where the rubber stopper thing comes in. You can use this extra plastic piece to have it set up stably on a table. Uh, or you can take that off and use this to attach it to a monitor or a laptop or whatever else you want to put it on. Uh, a little bit difficult to do, I'll do that at some point. The third option, of course, if you have a thin enough monitor, is just to set it up like this on top of the monitor. So basically at this point I'm going to hook the USB cable into the back, I'm going to hook it into my computer and give you a quick run through of the video and audio quality. Alright, so after a bit of testing and looking around, it appears that, at least in Linux, this camera is not going to do anything higher than 640x480 at 30 frames per second. So that's a bit of a disappointment in my opinion. Uh, again, it was a $20 webcam. It does say HD all over the package, so that is a big disappointment to me. However, the audio sounds very nice in my opinion. Uh, it's a little bit low, but I think that has to do with the capture software I'm using, which is called GUVC Viewer. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you an example at a higher resolution. We'll go ahead and do just the highest it'll do, 1600 by 1200 at 15 frames per second, and we'll see how that looks. Okay, and as you can see, we are now running at 1600 by 1200. I had to move it over to my second monitor so I could keep a better eye on, on what's going on. Uh, as you can tell, when I move, it's a lot more shaky. I'm going to try putting some uh, put a light in front of me over here, because I, really, I don't have any lighting on that wall. Uh, I'm going to see if that makes a difference or not. Alright, and here's what I would consider the final test. I've got two large softbox lights, one on either side. Uh, the uh, blurriness, which I called shakiness a minute ago, I think, is lessened, but not completely. I think this might be usable for for everyday stuff. I could probably crop it down to 1280 by 720 and have it look okay. Um, but still, like I said, it's meh. Yeah, I, if I were just doing a quick video, this would be ideal. If I were doing an interview with somebody, I would probably want to continue to use my Microsoft Life Cam because I get true 720p out of it, even though the audio is not terribly good and the audio on this is a whole lot nicer. It's kind of a mixed bag. Uh, definitely for having a portable microphone, 25 bucks shipped is very, very nice. For the camera, I gotta say, I expected a lot more out of it. I'll have to try it in Windows, I'll have to take it into work to do that and then see if in Windows it does a little bit better, but I honestly don't think it's going to. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to the 640x480 on this so it's not so blah blah blah. And there we go. That's basically uh, about all I have to say about this camera. I am I have to say, I am definitely disappointed in the video quality. The speed of it is is better than I expected on the lower resolutions, but to be honest, yeah, yeah it's... It, purported it reported whatever it was supposed to be an HD video camera and HD video to me does not mean 15 frames a second laggy jerky yeah uh, I'm not gonna be sending it back of course because it came from woot.com but uh, yeah like I said I can use it for little things here and there maybe even 
No, I, I don't want to give it to my parents because they've already got a webcam. Uh, but like I said, I can use the microphone for some other things. So that's kind of handy. I uh, might even try using it for some screencasts because I've had a lot of uh, banging out of the, the blue microphone where I type on the keyboard and I don't know if you can hear that or not. You probably can. Um, if I'm typing while I'm having the, the snowball over there, though, it gets the banging from the desk as well. Anyway, uh, other than the new webcam microphone combo thing that I've got, I've been working on the Ubuntu 1104 Alpha 3 video. I don't know if you could see it in the background when I was filming the earlier part. I, uh, I managed to get Unity installed on it within VirtualBox, so that's pretty awesome. I've got my Chrome OS notebook sitting here with me. I've waited for so long trying to get my problem with the, the Chrome OS figured out. Just hasn't worked out, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wipe it out and do the developer mode, go into either Arch or Ubuntu, not sure which, probably Arch just for the minimalist part of it and being able to get completely up-to-date software and whatever I want. I just noticed I'm staring at the microphone, so sorry. Anyway, that is all from me for now. Uh, look forward to the Ubuntu Alpha 3 video, which should come out late tonight, if not tomorrow morning. Uh, that's all for now, though. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.